Hello everyone. So um, today I wanted to talk about um, a concept that I sort of call two different types of strike. It may be something that you're already sort of familiar with to some degree, um, but you might not have uh, sort of thought about it in detail before, or sort of like d distinguish the two things. So I want to talk about that. So it's push versus impact strikes. Two different types of strikes. So you can. Um, this is the same type of. You can uh, well you use the same type of strike but you can do it in two different ways that's what i mean so let's say you do a jab but you can do it in either like a push variant or an impact variant but I'll, the one i use to demonstrate this because it's a good one to demonstrate is front kick um so a push strike is as you might expect where the force kind of goes through the target and out the other end and that kind of causes the um, the object that you're striking ideally like a person to sort of move in the direction that you go. So a push strike, let's say, well, it's commonly called a push kick when it's done, the front kick is done like this. So front kick where you push, see how much the bag swings, because the force is going through the target and it makes it move like that. So again, push right through and it makes it swing a lot because the force is making the whole body sort of move in that direction. Versus an impact strike, which is a bit different. This is where you instead, you sort of retract it quickly and that causes the force to and then sort of disperse through the inside of the target. So when you're doing a front kick, this is where the sort of front kick you do where you sort of point the toes more and flick back, so it's like this. Then you sort of flick so the foot pops out like that. So you see the bag doesn't swing it much, as much. I still hit it with similar amounts of force, but it doesn't swing. So there's a push kick variant like that. So obviously there are different uses for different types. The two different ones. There's no right or wrong which to use. It just depends on the situation. So. Using the front kick in this example, if you want to you know, manipulate the targets to get them going backwards for whatever reason, obviously the push variant is good. If you get them sort of in the stomach, this area, it's going to make them bend forward and go down like that. If you get higher up towards the chest, it's going to get them going back like that. And then hopefully lose their balance and fall on the floor. And you can either follow up or obviously just leave them there and let them be embarrassed it depends on the situation you know you can you can plan it so you can be like push from kick land hit hit do whatever you want to do afterwards follow up or the impact variation where it's just going to hit in there and it's going to send the shock wave throughout their internal organs and it's just going to really hurt a lot so it's going to sting it's going to be quite nasty so that going to hurt, it'll either send them down or if they're quite heavily conditioned and they can sort of take it, it's going to make them think, oh, that's pretty nasty, I don't want to do that. And then you can use it as a threatening weapon, so you can lift your knee up as a threat to make them think, this is going to hurt, I better block this, and then go for something else instead. So that's the two types of strike, push versus impact, just a brief sort of uh, breakdown of what they are and what the uses of the two different ones and I'll see you next time.